Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw Foghorn Leghorn. Start by drawing a small circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the circle, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the top left side, draw a short vertical line for another construction guide. On the left side of the head, draw a line that curves downward for the first part of the beak. Pay attention to the length of this line in relation to the head. Draw another line at the bottom to finish the guide for the beak. On the right side, curve the line inside the circle so that it ends on the horizontal construction guide. Draw two lines on the sides of the head as guides for the neck. Draw the lines farther apart at the bottom. At the bottom, draw a curved horizontal line to finish the guide for the neck. Far down below the neck, draw a big circle as a guide for the lower half of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First, make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Pay attention to how big this circle is in relation to the head. Don't place this circle too close to the head or the body will be too short. Now connect the big circle to the head using two long lines to finish the guide for the body. The top of the body should be narrow and the bottom wide. On the right side of the body, draw an angled line as a guide for the first arm. This line should be similar to a greater than sign. At the bottom of the line, draw a small circle as a guide for the hand. Part of this circle should be outside the body. On the left side of the body, draw similar shapes as guides for the other arm and hand. Make this angled line shorter because the body is slightly turned. At the bottom, only draw a half circle because the hand will be behind the body. On the lower right side of the body, draw a short vertical line as a guide for the first leg. Below that, draw a sloping horizontal line for the first part of the foot. Farther down below, draw a line that slopes even more for the bottom edge of the foot. Close off the guide for the foot on the right side using a diagonal line. The shape of the foot should be similar to a triangle with rounded corners. Now draw similar shapes on the left side as guides for the other leg and foot. Draw a short vertical line as a guide for the leg. At the bottom, draw a triangular shape as a guide for the foot. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Use the curved lines on the left side of the head as guides to draw the beak. First, darken the line at the top. To the right, along the horizontal construction guide, draw a short curved line. Now darken the bottom part of the shape too. Make the line a bit wavier as you darken the shape. At the top, draw a short curved line for a smile line. Inside the head, draw a curved line around the smile line for the side of the beak. Sketch lightly at first so that you get the shape right. At the bottom, extend the line inside the neck to create the lower half of the beak. Close off the shape of the beak on the left side using a sloping line. When you get this shape right, darken the lines. Draw the left side of the beak outside of the shape of the neck. The lower beak should be very close to the bottom edge of the neck. Inside the shape of the lower beak, draw a curved sloping line for the open mouth. 
On top of the beak, draw a short arc for the first eye. Place the eye to the right of the vertical construction guide. To the left, draw a smaller arc for the other eye. The top of the eyes should touch the top edge of the initial circle. Inside the eyes, draw small ovals and shade them in for the pupils. Pay attention to the size and placement of the pupils inside the eyes. Above the eyes, draw two short curved lines for the thick brow. Draw these lines close to the top edge of the initial circle. Under the beak, draw two short curved lines for the fleshy skin called the wattle. These lines should be similar to the letter U. These lines should almost touch the bottom edge of the guide for the neck. On top of the head, draw a short curved shape for the first part of the crest or comb. This shape should curve downward so that the tip is very close to the beak. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. To the right, draw a short curved line that's similar to an upside down letter U for the middle part of the comb. To the right of that, draw a shorter curved line for the last part of the comb. Now use the remaining shapes and lines at the top as guides to draw the rest of the head. Below the comb, draw a curved line for the right edge of the head. Farther down, darken the initial guide to create the side of the neck. Add a small angled line along the path for a feather. Now draw a series of short curved lines along the bottom for the feathers on the neck. Curve the path of these lines so that the left side is lower than the right. Each line should be similar to a small letter U. The left side of these lines should be close to the guide for the arm. Now use the angled line on the right side of the body as a guide to draw the first arm. First, lightly sketch the shape of the arm around the guideline. Draw a wavy line to the right of the guide for the outer edge of the arm. On the left side, draw two shorter lines for the inner edge of the arm. The left edge of the arm should be shorter than the right edge. When you get the shape of the arm right, darken the lines. Use wavy lines on the right side to give the arm more structure. Draw a couple of short curved lines near the elbow for feathers. Make the bottom part of the arm narrow for the wrist. Curve the line on the left side for the bicep. Use the circle at the bottom as a guide to draw the hand. Inside the shape, draw a short curved line for the side of the hand and the first finger. Darken the left part of the circle but make it more flat for the hand. On top of the first finger, draw a couple more short curved lines for the other fingers. Now use the big shapes in the middle as guides to draw the body. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. On the top left side, curve the line inward to create the chest. Don't overlap the arm and hand on the right as you darken the line for the body. Below the hand, draw a line that curves toward the foot for the side of the body and the leg. Draw a sloping line along the lower edge of the initial circle for the bottom part of the body. Below the neck, draw a short vertical line for the chest. Now use the angled line on the left side of the body as a guide to draw the other arm. Draw a wavy line to the left of the guide for the outer edge of the arm. Draw a couple of short curved lines along the elbow for feathers. The right edge of this arm will be hidden behind the body. Inside the circle at the bottom, draw a couple of short curved lines for the hand and finger. Most of this hand will also be hidden behind the body. On the lower right side, draw a couple more short curved lines to finish the shape of the leg. Make the top part of the leg wide and the bottom narrow. The shape of the leg should be around the initial vertical line. Draw a series of short curved lines along the bottom part of the leg for feathers. Now use the triangular shape at the bottom as a guide to draw the first foot. 
darken the left and bottom part of the guide. Draw a series of short curved lines across the guide for the first toe. Make the tip of the toe round. On the tip of the toe, draw a tiny triangular shape for the nail. Now darken the top part of the guide to create the other toe. Add another small triangular shape on the tip of this toe for the other nail. Add a small nail on the toe that's pointing backward too. Now use the shapes on the left as guides to draw the other leg and foot the same way. Draw the shape of the leg around the vertical guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide and the bottom narrow. Draw a series of short curved lines at the bottom for feathers. Use the shape at the bottom as a guide to draw the foot. Darken the right and bottom edge of the guide. Draw a series of short curved lines across the guide for the first toe. Make the front of the toe round and add a small triangular shape at the tip for the nail. Darken the top part of the guide for the other toe. Use short curved lines for the wrinkles on the toe and a small triangular shape for the nail. On the right side of the body, draw a long curved line for the first tail feather. This line should start on the elbow on the right and then curve downward. Pay attention to how long this line is in relation to the body. Below that, draw a similar line to finish the shape of the top tail feather. Don't draw these lines too far apart or the tail feather will be too wide. Connect the lines at the bottom to create a pointy tip. Below that, draw a similar shape for another tail feather. Draw two long lines that curve downward to create the feather. Make this tail feather slightly smaller than the first. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. This tail feather should almost touch the foot. Draw a smaller tail feather at the very bottom. Use short curved lines and make the bottom tip of the tail feather pointy. This feather should be about the same width as the top feathers. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Color the comb, the tongue, and the wattle red. Use light brown for the head and neck and the tail feathers. Color the inside of the mouth dark brown and the beak and feet yellow-orange. And that's it for Foghorn Leghorn. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit easydrawingtutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.